hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you're new to my youtube channel and you're just seeing my face for the first time thank you so much for stopping by my name is omo to our returning subscribers thank you for always coming back to watch all of our videos to my whole subscribers thank you so much to our new subscribers thank you so much i really do appreciate you as well may god almighty continue to bless you guys so much um anyway i just film uh, film a video so i decided to film this one as well because i'll be uploading it today in this video you guys already know by the title i'm going to be sharing with you guys on how i make my lightning face crop this face crop is actually very very good for those people that want to glow their face that want to lighten up their face it's very very good okay now i have a question i have a comment in the comment section where i post um a short clip of the face whitening scrub someone was talking about um me not using um sugar in it okay now let me ask you a question you're using the sugar body scrub on your skin then um you see how harsh it is i'm not angry i'm just trying to educate the person in this video because um you know we learn every day so she might not know so i just want to educate her a little bit um you're using a body scrub that contains sugar on your skin if you're scrubbing your skin you know how harsh it is when you're using a body scrub on your skin now let's experiment it on your face that you're using that same particular scrub on your face how do you how do you think it will feel on your face won't it be very harsh on your face? Won't it leave bruises on your face? Won't it make your face get red? Yes, of course. It's using um, a face scrub from a cosmetic shop or uh, we had to say um, body lotion and face um, cream and the rest of it. Check the face scrub that there is nothing like sugar in it. Why? Because sugar can cause irritation on your face because the harshness of it can leave your face rough the harshness of it can leave your face um damaged okay so that's why it's not advisable to use a sugar scrub on your face like use a sugar to make a scrub and use it on your face you're just spoiling your face because your face is more sensitive than your body that's why sugar scrub is mainly meant for body not face so the reason why i use um fenric uh, powder in, in this video it's because it's very very good for the face it helps to moisturize your face if you're using it as a face scrub it helps to glow your face it helps to um get rid of any form of wrinkles from your face it helps to lighten up your face and for those people that have a sagging face it helps to tighten their the, the the sagging face okay so in also it helps to get rid of acne pimples dark spots from your face so you see it contains a lot of um benefit that's why i decided to use it to make a, a face scrub okay yeah and also because it contains vitamin c uh, which helps to um glow the skin and lighten up your skin so that's the reason why i use it in this video if you want to know more about all these herbs you need to register for our online training so that you'll be taught of all of these things okay because sometimes if i see most of others comment on my comment section i'll just laugh over it why because the person is naive is um yeah sorry to use that word the person is naive because for you to drop such um comments like i'm not talking about this person that dropped this comment on that video on that short video i'm just talking for those people that normally drop comments which they don't really know about the ingredient they just drop comments like drop comment you need to study about the ingredient before you come back to drop comment if actually what the person said is wrong okay then you correct the person not you not knowing about the ingredients you just went ahead and dropped comments no it's not done that way we learn every day okay so for you to um drop comment actually go like okay this person said this is good for this just go do your research now if you do your research and you see that um it's not 
what the person said you can come and correct the person that person who also left okay so <laughs> that's just what i want to say in this video not wasting much of your time let's jump right into the video where i show you guys on how you can make your lightning um face crop because actually i haven't make a video of this before so i just decide to like share with you on how you can make your lightning um face crop this face crop is actually good for everybody okay for all screen type can use it it just helps to lighten up your face uh, and also repair your face as well okay so it's not going to um like give you that whiting 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 no it's not going to give you that whiting whiting no it's just going to um lighten up your face and also going to um glow your face as well help to fight any form of um um like i said earlier on pimples acne dark spot if you have um psycho eyes it's going to help to get rid of it okay you just apply it and it's the 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 powder that is the fenery powder that i use it's not really that harsh it's not going to like give you that harshness once one thing you should know is once you pour it inside your face scrub like you're making a face scrub if you pour it inside your face scrub it's going to dissolve like it's going to soften it's not going to be that harsh on you that's why you see most of other scrub you buy from the market that face scrub you buy you see that it's very very mild my scrub that's what you meant to use on your face not sugar body scrub i want to use this medium to say for those people that want to register for our online training please send in your message to our whatsapp um, number that will be displaying on the screen teach you on how you can make your own formulation from scratch and also give you details on all of this ingredient on how you can use it please, please and please ensure to watch this video to the end so that you will not come and ask me the question that i just finished saying in this video okay because most of you won't watch the video to the end rather you just come to the comment section and drop questions okay watch videos to the end so that you will know before you drop questions okay if you're doing any formulation you need to write it out as you can see mine is rough anyway but i know what i wrote down so this is what i'm looking at for so here i have with me my ewers so i'm going to be measuring out my ewers four tablespoon of my ewers four tablespoon Mind you, this is an illustration video, so if you're making yours, you know how to calculate for yourself, okay? So, there's three. Sorry, there's four, okay? So, this is four tablespoons. Next is our CT alcohol. I'm going to be measuring out just three spoons of it. So I sure to watch this video to the end so that you get every measurement of this recipe. Please do not ask me what's the measurement. That's because you don't watch the video to understand what I'm saying. Sorry, three tablespoons. So this is two and this is three. Okay, so this three tablespoons. Sorry, I had to transfer it to this. So right now I'm going to be measuring out our oils. So guys, um, next is our neem oil. Okay, so um, due to the fact that it's a face, um, what's it called? Face scrub. So that's why I'm using my neem oil. So I just need. Four tablespoons of my neem oil. Okay, so this four tablespoons of my neem oil. My sunflower oil. I'm also going to be adding four tablespoons. So this for next is my share butter I'm going to be adding just 
two tablespoons of my share butter. So this is one tablespoon. I need to help myself. Okay, so um, this is another one tablespoon. That's two tablespoons of shea butter. Right now, I'm going to go and double boil it. Then I'll be right back, okay? So guys, I'm back. So my e wash is already in my double boiler. So right now, I'm going to be measuring out my powders. So this is my snow white powder. So I'm just going to need in one tablespoon of my snow white powder, which is this. The next is my giga white powder. I'm just also going to be needing just two spoon of my giga white powder that's one that's another one okay making it two spoon so guys i'm going to be measuring out my distilled water sorry i had to transfer it here but this is very small this is my water so let's measure it Okay, so I just need 300 ml of my water. This 300 ml. I'm going to add a little of it to dissolve this powder. So this is our powder as you can see so i need to go and double boil it for it to dissolve very well because there's still some chunks inside while our distilled water i'm also going to heat it a little bit so that it will be warm so this is my oil okay that's fully melted and this is my distilled water and this is my powder that's dissolved so um Anyway, I'm not going to be adding it now because the temperature is still a little bit high. I'm going to wait for it to cool down before adding our water into it. So now oil. we're going to be adding our water into our oil. So while you do that, you, you stir. So now, like you all know, the color will not be that white because of the neem oil. So you know, I add neem oil into it as a base. So I'm going to keep stirring. So um, I'm going to leave it for it to cool down. So um, someone was saying that um, was saying something like um, base cream having um, bubbles on top, like this one. You see, this one have bubbles, but you just have to use your spoon to or your spatula to do it this way. See the way I'm doing it, okay? The more you do it, the more the bubbles go off. So you see so that will make the bubbles go off you see so 
before the bubble will go off. Or better still, just you see, just spray your your alcohol to just go off. So simple as that. Nothing else. So I'm going to wait for it to solidify. So now I'm going to add my powders. Okay, I'm going to add my powders into it to mix together. Now is the time for me to add my powders, okay? So that it will be easy for it to blend very well. Okay, so. do like this the bubbles will go off you see the bubble bubbles will go off for those of you that ask concerning why base cream have bubbles on top you see the bubbles has gone off but if you do it this way you see the bubbles has come okay but after much you have to just use your spatula to to do it just like this like this then the bubbles will go off okay you see just easy as that So guys, this is our base cream. You see, it has solidified, as you can see. So right now, I'm going to be adding the rest ingredient into it. So guys, this is my cinnamon powder. I'm going to be adding just one tablespoon of my cinnamon powder, which is my herbs, which is very, very good for the face, because this is a face crop. So I want this face crop to be more active so i'm going to be adding one tablespoon this is my orange pea powder i'm also going to be adding one tablespoon next is my turmeric powder i'm going to be adding one tablespoon of my turmeric powder So now you're going to mix together. my propelling glycol okay also going to be adding my preservative okay that's okay
then I mix together then add other of my ingredients so these are face scrub mind you it's our face scrub and this is illustration video so that's why i'm not giving out the measurements so you can just follow my step next is my lucorized extract going to be dropping few drops of it like let's say five There's five. Yes. I'm also going to be adding lactic acid into our face scrub because lactic acid is very good for to exfoliate the skin. It's an exfoliant. It helps to exfoliate the skin, helps to take away every form of blemishes from the skin, have a pigmentation, helps to um go deep into your skin to exfoliate okay you remember this is an exfoliating face scrub so with this it will help to do the magic so i'm going to be adding just few drops as well that's okay and this is my argan oil argan oil is very very good for the face it's a non-comogenic oil that you can use for your face and your body I'm going to be using it in this recipe to be adding just one tablespoon now i'm going to mix together as you can see a lot of benefits this scrub this face scrub will do to my face you see so that's why you need to you need to register for our online training so that you know how to formulate your skincare product by yourself without copying someone's recipe here is my fenoric powder this fenoric powder for those of you that don't know what fenoric powder is i'm going to be dropping it on the screen for you to see so i'm going to be adding it into our, our face scrub so that um, it will help to um, exfoliate my face the reason why i'm using fenoric uh, powder because i'm the one that blended it to be a powder form it's because i couldn't lay my hand on the jojoba beads that's why i'm using this okay so now i'm going to be using this fenoric seed as that as a replacement so i'm just going to be needing just two tablespoons so this is one tablespoon and this is another tablespoon okay so that's just all. so now i'm going to mix it all together Then you give it a nice tear like you mix it all together so that the powders everything will blend very well you can use your hand mixer to mix it properly sorry i'm not using my hand mixer that's because it's late here so i don't want to make noise so this is it as you can see so these are face scrub so this is how it look like this face probe is super effective like guys <laughs> okay <laughs> so this is my preservative you can add any preservative sorry i'm going this is not my <laughs> sorry guys i'm tired god so i just added my fragrance oil sorry not preservative okay my fragrance oil that's what i just added into it to give it a nice good fragrance okay so this is our face scrub so now i'm going to be showing you how it look like god it's not easy to make video so now this is it 
so use it to massage your face you see you see okay so um as for the fenugreek see if you notice that it's not much inside you can decide to add an extra extra one tablespoon into it let's say i want to add one tablespoon into it you can decide to add just one tablespoon okay then you mix it all together and that's all <laughs> it's finished already and that's all okay so use this on your face it's going to help to lighten up your face it's going to give you this brighter skin okay so help to take off every form of dead skin cells from your face it's going to help to hydrate your face as well it's going to help to take away every form of dark spots on your face okay so as you can see our face scrub is ready so these are face scrub guys so i'm going to wash off my hand i'm be right back okay so let's do some experiment so you see you massage it all over your face you see massage it massage it see so these stones will help to massage okay scrub it all over your face you see so and the lactic acid you add into it as well it's also going to help a lot and the turmeric the canoe powder sorry the cinnamon powder so you see so now you're going to wash it off okay so i'll be right back guys so right now i'm going to be prying it here this scroll So guys, these are scrub. These are face scrub. Ready? So you can use this to scrub your face morning and night. Okay, three times in a week, or morning and night. Any of which you can scrub in the morning, you can scrub in the night. But I sure to be three times in a week. So these are face scrub. It's ready. So thank you so much for watching this video to this extent. If you love this video and you find this video very helpful, make sure to give this video a good thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you've been watching my videos, please ensure to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!